Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky and welcome back to more Final Fantasy IV. So last time we climbed the Tower of Babel, you know, like the real portion, I guess. And yeah, we're in the Tower of Babel B3. So let's see here. Oh, where the hell are we? Oh, that's right, yeah. Gotta keep going. This way now. We're only on B3? Jesus. So, this takes us to B4, a new room. I mean, new room on this side at least, but it's kind of the same one. There we go, fully explored. So now we have, um, fully explored B1 through 4, as well as, you know, like the high ones, like 7 through 13 or something, I don't know what the hell, but... B5 is probably the one and only room that we haven't, you know, explored at all. Okay, sorry about these cuts really early in the video, but the thing is, you've seen this encounter so many times now that, like, what the hell, seriously? That's kind of why I started cutting so many battles out in the last video, because there was just so many repetitive stuff, seriously. And if I keep encountering those, then, you know, just, I'll keep cutting. It's quite that simple. It's so freaking hot in my room, man. Oh my god. I'm dying here. Because the, the thing is, I have to shut the window when I do these recordings, because then, you know, like, everything outside gets picked up, especially sirens even more so than, you know, they're... What the hell? Is that a new enemy on the back? Huh. I don't know. Wait, what was that? Did I get back attacked? That is a new one, isn't it? Oh, shoot. I got back attacked, though. I wasn't paying attention, but I mean, I'm in the back. Like, it's reversed. Ah, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and begin killing the coral first, because it's freaking annoying. And then you can go ahead and get a... Actually, a summon would be nice. I'm gonna get a dragon. No, no, no. Let's just get, like, an Ifrit or something. Get a Ifrit, sure. You can get a dual cast, and Libra that guy, and then Libra this one. Just to see their stats, you know? because I haven't Libra'd any of them. So it's kind of important to do so. To know their weaknesses, you know? Oh my god. Dual Libra casting takes so long because of the whole analyze target status, you know, thing that appears. Alright, come on, let's see what you got. Weakness holy, weakness none. Okay, well, I'm going to, um... I'm gonna assume if Frit kills you. At least that guy, so I'm just gonna attack these things over here. If Frit, let's skip this. How much damage? Damn! Look at that freaking damage! Crazy stuff. Okay, nice experience, no level up still, what the hell? Let's get some cures because we took kind of a beating there, you know? There we go. Alright, so we got the chest, but now we have to explore this freaking side over here. I missed a spot down there, but I'm gonna go back anyway, so who cares? Alright, there we go. Explore this little spot that I missed. Alright, sweet. And we should be done now, I think. Okay, that's taken care of. Let's simply move up, and this triggers a cutscene. Look at these two. What the hell? Edge. Father. Mother. Thank goodness you're alright. And you. Come, Edge. Yes, come with us. With you? Where? To hell. What the hell? Okay. So we get a battle here. King of Eblon, Queen of Eblon. This battle, um, it's simply like kind of scripted, you could say. You really can't do anything, but you know, like, you can keep attacking if you want. Even though it's really not important to do so. There's a lot of, um, you know, dialogue in this battle. Of this king and this queen talking to Edge, apparently. They are, um, his parents. So, they're fighting us, and we don't know why. We have no idea why. Well, kind of, I mean, maybe if I would read the dialogue and shut up, you know? But then again, I can't really do that. Because, you know, it's a let's play, gotta keep talking. Even if I don't know what the hell to say, sometimes I just have to keep doing that. Just keep talking and talking and talking. 1500 damage, yes. 1600. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I don't want to waste any freaking MP. The thing is, I don't want Oh, wait, actually, you do get a full heal. Yes, you do. So I can just go all out. Let's get a freaking, like, um... Um, Blazaga. Because that's going to do some really massive damage, I'm going to assume. I mean, after this battle, there is another boss right away. And, uh, yeah, you can't heal in between this battle and the next one. But, you do get heal, but I'm saying, like, heal as in saving. Like, you can't go back and heal and save. So you have to do this, you know, with the other one. And if you die in the other battle, you have to redo this freaking boring battle first. By just doing whatever, you know. Alright, is it over? Is it over now? 1800 damage. When are you gonna die, dude? Freaking King of Ablon, man? Seriously. Look how much damage you've taken. 
And you still haven't died. That's because he's not going to die. Fyra. Okay, really? Really? <sighs> I'm just waiting here. I, I really am. Like, I don't know what else to do. It's me, your son. Um, it's not working. It's not working, Edge. They're apparently still fighting us to try to kill us despite you being their son. But then again, we're kind of killing them too. It's not really self-defense because I'm attacking. If it was self-defense, I would be doing this. No, no, not swap to Rose, I meant defend. Like this. Regain lucidity. Ooh. Edge, hear me while I can speak. Okay. We are no longer human. Really. What we are has no right to live. Forgive us, Edge. No longer human, huh? Well then, what exactly are you then? We must depart now. Before the madness takes us again. Okay, see? I hate to dialogue here during battles because it goes so slowly. Like, they put so little bit. And then, you know, like you're talking and then a long pause. Talking again, a long pause. Because it's so little words and such a big, you know, like... Pause. Well, there we go. They're both gone. Mother, wait! Well, she's not gonna wait. She unfortunately has to go. To wherever it is they're going. And... They're gone. <laughs> Such cruelty. It's inhuman. Rubicante, for this, for this, you will pay! It was Luge who made Chimere of your parents. I shared no hand in his perversities. They shame me as they grieve you. Don't speak of shame! I respect men like you. Men with courage. But you are a slave to your emotions. And so, will never know true strength. Such is the curse of men. You think our rage a weakness? Then let me show you how wrong you are! You are an interesting one indeed. Such powers unleashed by anger alone. But they will not avail you. The frozen winds of Hell's Ninth Circle could not penetrate this cloak of flame I wear. Come, I will heal your wounds. Face me at full strength. Okay, so Edge learned two new abilities in his ninjutsu, and they're pretty useful, at least Flood is for this battle, but this gets pretty hard if you don't know how to face him, seriously. So basically, um, what you want to do, I'm going to begin by getting a, what the hell, oh sorry, it was like an Inferno, oh, Jesus Christ, alright, let's um, go ahead and come over here, dual cast, that's going to be pretty deadly. What I'm going to do is get a Kiraga on every, actually I should get a raise first, right, yeah, I'm going to get a raise. Because he always starts off with that freaking move, man. It does some massive damage. Let's get a raise. And then a Kiraga. On everyone. Okay, now Radia is going to be doing a summon. And hopefully he doesn't... If he hides in his cloak, well, whatever. But basically, this guy has two phases. Open cloak and, and closed cloak. Right now it's open. When he doesn't have his cloak on, he is basically going to be an offensive enemy. But when he does have his cloak, he's a defensive enemy. So it's kind of important to know what the hell to do. With Kane. I always jump. With Cecil, let's see, I'm gonna get a shell, just because it could be useful, whether I go around and do nothing. Okay. So the important thing is using, oh, no, he closed, he closed. Okay, that's fine, though. Um, this means that he's going to absorb um, Radia's summon. Which is a bad thing, but it's fine. 
Yeah, he absorbed it. That's fine. Counter Blazara on himself. Okay. Whatever. So, let's see. I'm going to get a... I'm going to wait for Radius to fill up and then use a Steel. It just Steel is important in this battle because it always causes Ruby Kante to be switching phases. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a... Actually, before I do that, I want to get Rosa to heal. Let's get a double... A double cure or just one? Ugh, just do that. And then... Now Cecil, I just saw that he's going to be healing Ruby Conti as well. That's not good. Um, I'm gonna get a Protect. Because he can also attack physically. And I would have Shell, so alright, go ahead and do that. And now with Radio, actually with Edge, sorry, I'm gonna use Steel. And one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my controller actually died. I had to change the batteries. So. Uh, like I was saying, Edge of Steel is the key to switching this guy's mode. If you use Steel, he's going to be switching from Cloak to Non-Cloak. What you want to do is combine that with Radius Summon. As soon as you use Steel, he's going to... Wait a second. Shift. As you can see, he shifts his phase. Then immediately use a Shiva Summon on him. The key to attacking him is... Let's take him hold off on Kane for a while. The key to attacking him is by using Shiva when he has his cloak open, which means that, you know, when he's on offensive mode, because he always counters summons by using Blizzard on himself. Maybe because the AI was programmed to get hit by a summon when he's defending with the cloak, that way he could heal himself with the Blizzard, but if he's not... Alright, look at that. Weakness, and then he's gonna counter with Blizzard and hit himself because the cloak's open. But if you hit him when his cloak is closed, he's going to counter with Blizzard and heal himself. So that's not good. Let's see, with you, do I need to use any more Kiras? I guess. I'm not going to be attacking with you, so who cares? Um, let's see, I'm going to use Steel with Edge once again. Hopefully you can outspeed him though. Yes, that's good. Uh, with you, just use, like, Prey for now. Whatever. There we go, close. But basically, Edge has the power to control Ruby Kante in this battle by using, e by using Steel the entire time. So I'm just doing that to hold off, you know, and then use Steel again. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. I was dumb. He's healing now. Whatever. He healed with canes, whatever. Because see, uh, they're elemental things. That's the problem. I forgot to do that. Okay, there we go. Get a Shiva. And I guess I could just hold off with Kane and just keep using uh, Radia to keep attacking with Shiva. That should be the strategy. Let's get this now. There we go. Now he's going to kind of with Lazara. And just so he doesn't get Inferno off once again, let's go ahead and use Steel. Oh, shoot. He did it. Damn it. He did it. Oh, well. Dual cast. Um, that that does a lot of damage to Edge. What the hell? Okay, do that and then get a Kiraga on everyone. Okay, go ahead and come on, Rosa. I'm waiting for you. Let's see. Should I? Hmm. The thing is, I am going to. You know what? I'm gonna attack with Kane. I think I can. Well, let me wait and see if he's gonna be shifting his cloak. Doesn't seem like it. Okay then, he's going to counter most likely, yep, with Fyra. Don't worry, I have Cecil to offset that. Should do some pretty good damage, yeah, whatever. Okay, now he closed, so now I'm going to, once I use this Kira, I'm going to um, get Steel going. Ready? Alright, get Radia, summon Shiva. So basically, Edge and Radia are the combo in here. Again, you Steel with Edge to make him shift, and then use uh, Summon with Shiva. And it'll always be quick enough if you do them, you know, one after the other. He, he will not be able to shift his cloak again. Shiva, there we go, weakness. He's going to count with Lazara. And then simply wait. I'm going to try and get another steel. I don't think he's going to use it. Steel, hurry up. Make him hide. Rose is going to be dual casting. Let's get a shell because I think I have some dead characters. So just do that and then, sure, do a Kira on... Only Edge, I guess. I don't know. Alright, just giving myself time here. I'm not going to do anything with anybody else, because Cecil and Kane, you know, they have Ice Elemental, so they can't be attacking him when he has his cloak on. Now I'm just going to be waiting for Edge once again to use Steel. Because again, Edge has the power to control Ruby Conte in this battle with Steel. Alright, go ahead and use Steel, and then switch to Radia, and get a summon. Ready? Ready? There we go. Summon. Should be quick enough. Okay, this should be the win, because I've hit him plenty of times now. And, yep, there we go. So that's the strategy. 
Edge is very important in this battle, so is Radia. a cane? You could jump or attack with him, but uh, whatever. I mean, it's kind of risky if he has the ice lamps, because if, he, if you attack him with the jump when he has his clothes cloak, like what happened to me one time, you could screw yourself over. Cecil should just be a support, no need to attack, and Rosa full support with cures and shells and whatever. And that's pretty much it. But the combo involves Edge and Radia. They make a good team, a good pair. And story-wise, they also do, but that's a different story. Most interesting, you combine your strengths to overcome foes stronger even than yourselves. You are fine warriors indeed. Lord Golbez himself will find you no easy comp- Oh, opposition. Why did I say comp- What the hell? I was gonna say composition. I pray the day comes that we can fight each other again. And trust me, it will. Mother, father, you can rest in peace now. Yep, there we go. Oh, what's going on now? Senes Shaw, I don't know how to pronounce that name. I, I have no idea. We've come to aid you in your fight. Where is Ruby Conte? Lead us to him. It's already done. <laughs> oh god. I was not alone. I had the aid of these warriors as well. I see. So these are the ones to whom we owe our thanks. So just who is this Golbez? He is a man gathering the crystals in hopes of opening a way to the moon, and he is Ruby Kante's master. He wants to go to the moon? The moon? The one in the night sky? No, the one in the freaking underground, under the earth, or whatever. What the hell? A power is set to sleep there. When great enough to destroy the world. Well, actually, it's not the real moon, it's the red moon, but okay. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Everything that's been done has been at this goal with his command, and I must not go unpunished. But, your going highness, your people need you now. Eblon must be rebuilt. This isn't just about Eblon, it's about the whole world. I have to help stop him. Well then, do be careful. Of course, leave this to me. Very well, we will do our best to protect Eblon in your absence. Please, take care of our young prince. May Shadow hide you. Wait, who's saying that? Oh, a ninja, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Yes, let's go to Golbez. We have to beat him. We came here for the crystals. Right, I knew that. Follow me. Okay. So, um, let's see. Yeah, we get warped a bit to the front, so make sure to explore this area here a bit. You know, we gotta explore all the little areas. There we go. Tower of Babel B5 map complete. Obtain an elixir. Okay. Now it is time to head up north. And actually, am I fully healed? I don't think so. The thing is, I don't know if I can encounter any enemies in here still, so I'd rather be safe because I just fought a hard boss battle, you know? Alright, so I'm going to go here to the Crystal Chamber, that is right. And, let's see, a trap door? What? And a trap door apparently in the Crystal Chamber. Okay. If you say so, game. We just fell. We just completely fell over and that's not good. T yeah. We've fallen back to a subterranean level. Oh god. Yeah, so we are in B something. I don't know where the hell we are. Let's get out of here. The only way to go would be to um go down the stairs. I mean, not down the stairs. Just go down, I mean. And yeah. So here we are. Oh god. Um, This is B... Oh shoot. Encounter? I guess I'll keep this one in. Whatever. Because I'm almost out of here. Um... Just attack, attack, sure, and then you can get like a freaking blizzard or something, I don't know. Do that. And whatever. Well, actually, Kane and Cecil will kill this guy. You and your counters, man. You and your freaking counters. There we go, yep, okay. So, we are in B-something. I did not see what floor we were at, but we're pretty close to getting out of here. Let's see, okay, gotta explore all of this. If I keep encountering more enemies, I will just cut them. Because I think you've seen them all. Okay, taken care of another freaking black lizard. B7 map is complete. We only have one uh, floor and tower of Babel left to explore. And that is this one. Right down here. Yes. Okay, a few more easy bats. And, alright, we're close. Come on. Gotta get out of here. Explore this final room. There's one more chest, by the way, on the right side. If we head this way to the right side, this will lead to the final chest of the Tower of Babel. Right up here. This one. 
Let's claim it. And it contains a high potion, yeah, whatever, nobody cares. The exit is on the left side, as you can see, the only other way to go. And Edge just gained a level up and learned Tremor. Okay. Okay, okay, you know how I said in the Ruby Conte battle that Flood was pretty useful? It kind of is because he's weak to it, Ruby Conte, but I mean, the Shiva summon combined with Edge's steel strategy is a lot better, in my opinion. So yeah. But there we go, we finally did that, and I believe we did finish up the entire Tower of Babel. We fully explored every single map. This takes us to a scene. Okay. What's this? The enemy's latest airship? Alright, we can escape in this. But it's an enemy ship. Don't worry, I'm sure she'd rather be she'd rather be flown by us anyway. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see here. You don't suppose this could be a trap, do you? This beauty? Not a chance. Alright then, we'll call her the Falcon. Really? Falcon? Why? Oh, for... Huh. Quickly, we must get out of here. Yes, let's go. Let's see what you can do, Falcon. Are we flying or is there an earthquake? I honestly have no idea. I'm pretty sure we're flying. Okay. Let's just say that. Alrighty, well, here we go. We finally get control, and, um, yeah, so we're all done here. Next time, we are going to, well, finally do some stuff now that we have an airship and we can go around. Actually, we can't go through the lava here, as you can see. So you might be thinking, why not? Don't worry. We will find out next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.